Okay. Male female friends. The problem is that they use the term friends. If it was acquaintance, yeah, we'll say okay. Friends is a very technical term. And you remember that silly, lousy, wicked, evil soap opera of the days called Friends? You remember that one? Maybe you've never seen it? Alhamdulillah. In my jahiliyyah, I have bits and pieces of it. What was these friends? You know what these friends were doing. And you know what friends mean. Now let me give you some good news. Beautiful news. In Islam, you're one of three people. Married, engaged, or single. Khalas. There's nothing else. Either you are married, case closed. Your time is up. Sorry for you. Or you are engaged on the verge of marriage and you have guidelines. Or you are single means single. There's nothing in between. There's no friend which I'm trying to learn and get to know. So in case I like him, I can tell daddy, daddy, you know, this guy I met on Facebook is a beautiful man, mashallah. Very, very, uh, very religiously committed. We've only had, you know, video chat three times. This is a religiously committed brother sitting there chatting with you through video. What did you leave for the religious, religiously committed brothers then? If this is the religiously committed, what did you leave for the real ones? What did you leave for the wicked? Sitting there are getting to know each other. She smiles and, look, let's stop lying. People fall in love in three seconds. Human beings have the, uh, amazing have the ability to fall in love in three seconds. A sister can send a brother a message saying, Salaamu Alaikum, how are you today? And he's done. <laughs> I'm not lying. And vice versa. Yes? No, not everyone is like that. Not, not everyone is like that. But this happens very often. And remember when, when chatting first came out, people were falling in love with 10 people every night. Everybody loves, oh, I love, he never seen her, never, doesn't know anything about her, except her name. But a few words back and forth, and oh, this is my soulmate. Finally, someone who can hear me. This person's not even hearing you. You know, you chat and they go in the kitchen cooking, they come up and you're typing, 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 they don't even read anything. Then they come back and say, uh-huh, yes. Say, oh, wow, what a patient friend. Wallah, he doesn't, he closed it 10 times. But every time he closes the box, when you chat again, it opens again. He's not even reading anything. Come on, keep it real. There's no such thing as friendship. No such thing. You can have male friends as a sister, and brothers, you can have female friends. No such thing. What is the nature of the relationship? Either you are a person of knowledge, whom you are asked, People ask you questions, then this is fine because the Sahabiyah, the wives of the Prophet or the female companions asked the Prophet No problem, we're not saying there's absolutely no communication. But the communication now has to have a purpose. Meaning this sister is communicating with this brother who has knowledge to learn something about the deen. And not this kind of ongoing learning process. It's more like a question and answer within particular guidelines. Preferably, if the brother has a wife, he creates a joint account with his wife, so whenever an email comes from his sister, his wife reads it too. Otherwise, you may fall into the trap. Many sisters will shock you. It begins with three questions. The fourth question is, do you want a second wife? And that's fitna. That's fitna. That's fitna for a man. Even if he has three, if a fourth one offers herself, it's a fitna. That's human nature. I'm not, you know I'm speaking real deal stuff. Human beings, I'm not gonna lie, pretend that we're something else. This opens the door to calamities. Let alone the communication and the correspondence is not that of a questioner and an answerer. It is that of friends. I'm learning the deen from him. The ulama used to say it is not halal for you to be alone with the sister even if you're teaching her the Quran. Even if it's tajweed and you have the book of Allah between you, it's haram for you to sit with her. This friendship is a form of seclusion.